Welcome to the quick overview of Dartfish Easy Tag. So the first thing you'll need to do is obviously download the application. So if you go into your app store and do a search for Dartfish, you'll get the only app there and you can click install as you would with any other app. Once that's done, the application will appear on your home screen like this. So to start the app, just click on it. There's two main panels to focus on. So at the bottom here you've got one for games and one for panels. So if we have a look at the first thing you need to do is obviously create a panel. So in order to start the process, you can just click this plus in the top right hand corner. You can select the layout. So you have options from various different layouts and you can have anywhere from 9 buttons up to 30 buttons. So we might select this layout here. We could name it as test and click save and you're brought to the editor window where you can begin to edit your panel which we'll show in a later tutorial how to do that so if we go back to the list of panels I have I've one made here already so if we were to look at the soccer panel you'll see how I've just used an 8x2 layout and I've got blue for my team and red for the opposition and I've just labelled each event accordingly so that's my panel made and now I can just simply go to the games and again I use the plus in the top right hand corner if I want to create a new game so I might put in the opposition name uh, we might say United and then I select the panel I want to use so we're going to use the soccer panel and I click save so now my game is ready to go and simply all I have to do is once I have my iPhone or my iPod touch in my hand at the start of the game I can just click start when the game begins and then simply tag as I see events happen. So if I see that we've committed a foul or the opposition have committed a couple of fouls, there we've had a good corner, etc, etc. So you basically tag or just click the button as you see the event happen in the match. The number in the bracket represents the number of times you've touched that button. So for example, at half time you might be able to see how many poor corners you've had, how many entries into the attacking third, or any parameter that you've decided to set up in your tagging panel. One excellent thing about the Dartfish Easy Tag is the fact that the numbers are on the screen. So if fellow coaches or a manager wants to know exactly what's happening in a game, the numbers are there for you to see and you don't have to go to other screens to see it. Once the game is ended you can simply just click stop and you're taken to a, a review panel where you can review events by category or by time so if you want to have a look at each event and its corresponding time in the game you can do that it's one thing to look at it on the device itself but if you then want to export it or have a look at it on your laptop or maybe send that file on to other coaches it's a very simple process of again hitting export in the top right hand corner it will generate a file that you'll see attached in your email client and you can simply put in the email you want to send it to either yourself or another coach and click send and that will bring that excel file onto your computer for further analysis if that's what you want so that's a quick overview of dartfish easy tag in other tutorials i'll follow up with how to create a panel how to edit a game and some of the advanced features if you want to use dartfish easy tag in conjunction with your dartfish software